it. Oh, sorry, I hit it too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, sis. I hit it as I, I didn't mean to hit record. I'm a recording. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Thank you. Hi, guys. How you doing? All right. Good morning. Lesson number 172. And the main idea is God is but love. Therefore, so am I. God is but love. And therefore, so am I. And that I is the I that we share with every brother. The Christ. Okay, from lesson, it's a review of lesson 153. In my defenselessness, my safety lies. Followed up by God is but love and therefore, so am I. You know, if we really, really accepted this, if you knew that you were nothing but divine love, mm -hmm. you would also know that love and fear cannot coexist in the same place. <laughs> you would feel what you really are in truth, which means that you would exist in the felt state of your incorruptible innocence. You would know that guilt and fear are nothing but, well, you wouldn't even consider them, but um, there would be no way that the temptation of the idea of separation could ever enter into your mind. And that's the state that Jesus walked in. Even when he was in the most trying of circumstances, he remained love. And in their final act of trying to torture and kill the body, he remained steadfast in praying for them, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And so a love knows that it cannot be attacked and it cannot die and cannot be threatened. And that is that state of in my defenselessness, my safety lies. When we are defenseless because we know what we are, that is true safety from an ego thought system. Uh, you, there's nothing in your mind that will bite down at the apple of images that you see. You will not be tempted to see a brother as an enemy. You will only ever, like Sis had said previously, see either love or a call for love. And knowing that you are love, you can answer that call for love. So Sis, when we, huh? you know, when we're really triggered by somebody or something. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we go straight into fear. Hmm. and then counterattack or okay. defense yes now right? you're down the rabbit hole yeah already mm -hmm. because we see defense as safety mm -hmm. so let's just wipe out the word defense and call it attack yeah. all right so through the ego we see attack as safety right well, we're, we're making our own projections real and then drawing up arms to protect ourselves from what we made and placed outside of ourselves originally. Okay. So if, if, if say, um, if you, not that this would ever happen, and it has never happened, but you never know. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm just being impossible. But, no, say if you were a bitch to me, right? <gasps> <laughs> it's a, yes. okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So say if you went insane. Yeah. Lost my right. mind. And lost your mind. And then end up calling me and calling me everything under the sun, like uh -huh. the ego would. And I have a reaction to that. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. and I'm really personally offended. Well, you must have had some pre existing doubts about your own identity for you to be triggered by what I said. Trust right? you to tell me that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's my shit. It's your shit. Sorry for using. Yeah, but it, it's, it's mine. So I'm triggered by this attack that comes from you, seemingly. But then in that moment, I can recall perception's fundamental law, which is that, hey, I believe it, attack, right? I must have wanted it. Mm -hmm. I put it there. Mm -hmm. And I, and of course, the ego is using, thank you, sir. You are using ego. me to make me be a bitch to you. Exactly. Wow. 
How's that? I don't like being used. <laughs> <laughs> now you have a problem. No. I <laughs> It's a closed circuit. The <laughs> ego is a closed circuit. It's, it's like a freaking hot potato. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but that's how it works. So right. for me to heal, I if I was if I was triggered by you being bitchy, mm -hmm. um, then I would just have to just go, oh, okay, this is this is mm -hmm. my sis mm -hmm. is giving me a healing opportunity. Am I going to see it that way or am I going to defend? Yes, I'm only here to be truly helpful. Okay, so that's right. So if I join with Holy Spirit, then I'm going to realize in my defenselessness, mm -hmm. my safety lies. And that's really more at the level of the mind mm -hmm. because uh, let's just open something up real quick because a few people have asked this question. What happens if I'm walking down a very dark lane in the middle of the night in the middle of New York City and I'll and then suddenly I hear footsteps chasing me? In my defenselessness, my safety lies. Do I just what do I do? Turn around and chase that yeah. person that's chasing me? <laughs> yeah, real quick. Start slamming the banging pots and pants. No. There have been countless, I can't remember, I have lost count, seriously, of how many testimonies that I have read that when seemingly threatened by another brother in some remote area or a parking lot or a parking structure or an office building or your own home, you know, um, you're at a decision point, right? You go with fear and you act fearful and you're part of this script of where one brother, you know, victimizes another brother. There is another way. Remember what we talked about in the last lesson, that we're never changing phenomena out there. We're changing who it is that we are looking with. Through the ego, our brother could be a holy terror, a rapist, a murderer, and you know the chips fall where they may because we're still under the ego's laws, right? In a split second, you can choose again. In a split second, you can say there's one view of my brother. There is one presence here. Love is here. God is but love, and therefore so am I and my brother. Looking upon a brother through the eyes of love, going in, Holy Spirit, what would you have me do or say? One split second of finding that inner light, an inner sense of peace, difficult as it might be, but you turning in and deeply asking God or Holy Spirit, for, for some relief, something to do or to say. You'll be given a thought and communicating that thought breaks the mesmerism, not only in your mind, but the would-be attacker's mind. So many would-be attackers have found themselves standing there like they just woken up from a dream or they mumbled some words and they didn't, uh, you know, they just kind of said an apology and stumbled off. It's just like it the, the animating force in their attack just was drained from them. And they just kind of looked embarrassed and turned. Mm -hmm. Maybe said a friendly thing, oh, you know, sorry, a bad day, whatever. They just walked away. And this has been over and over and over and over. So if sis was tempted, right, to be offended at what I said, that's because there's something in her mind that still the ego was still, you know, taking the bait. There's some doubt in her mind about who she is, but when she stops, if you knew I am the Christ, I it's a felt state, people would come and say all kinds of things against you, and it would be like a plexiglass window in front of you, plink, 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 it just falls. It never touches you. It can't reach you. There's no part of you that will fasten onto it and respond to it. You, all you see is a call for love, an attacker, you see a call for love. They're insane at this moment. What do they need? Love. Do, do you have it to give or are you going to respond in fear to their fear and compound the problem? That's all the choice we ever have. And don't underestimate the power. All power of, in the universe, omnipotent, divine love has all power. Turn to it. It knows what to do. It'll diffuse a bomb. 
Mm. And that's the truth. It's the truth, literal truth. Yeah. Beautiful, sis. Thank you. Thank you. Where are we at? Which lesson are we on? <laughs> Who am I? Where am I? We're at lesson that, 172, okay. and we were reviewing 153, which is in my defenselessness, my safety lies. Mm. In my defenseless state, go mm. within, ask Holy Spirit. You are completely shielded and protected in the moment that you don't feed fear with fear, but meet it with love that casts it out. That's from him. Beautiful. And just a, re a reminder too, um, that Jesus says here, the presence of fear is a sure sign that yeah. you are trusting in your own strength. In other words, the ego's weakness. Yeah. So what's the next half of the lesson, sis? 154. I am among the ministers of God. Uh oh. That you means I can't. I can't believe I'm unworthy or have any false humility. Or unfairly treated or attacked. Hmm. I am okay. among the ministers of God. I don't remember this lesson at all. Well, uh, I do. Good. <laughs> There's two of us. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We need each other, sis. <laughs> yeah, we do. We need each other. Like, um, I'm okay. going to share a quote from Lesson 154. Mm -hmm. That's paragraph one. Let us today be neither arrogant nor falsely humble. Mm. We have gone beyond such foolishness. We cannot judge ourselves, nor need we do so. These are but attempts to hold decision off and to delay commitment to our function. It is not our part to judge our worth. Well, that's a big, big statement. It is not our part to judge our worth. And yet, I don't know about you guys, but in the past, especially for me, I was judging my worth every few minutes <laughs> for all of my life, right? Yeah. And doing comparisons with everybody else. And thank God that's over. So it is not our part to judge our worth, nor can we know what role is best for us. Mm -hmm. what, we can, uh, what we can do within a larger plan, we cannot see in its entirety. Our part is cast in heaven, not in hell. Mm. And what we think is weakness can be strength. What we believe to be our strength is often arrogance, right? That mm -hmm. false humility. I used to be so into that false humility and believe that it was strength. Oh, no, not me. No, 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 you take it. No, no, I come last, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is through his ability to hear one voice, which is his own, that you become aware at last there is one voice in you and that one voice appoints your function and relays it to you giving you the strength to understand it and uh, to do what it entails and to succeed in everything you do that is related to it there is one major difference in the role of heaven's messengers that's us right mm -hmm. Um, which sets them off from those the world appoints. The messages that they deliver are intended first for them. Mm. And it is only as they can accept them, these messages for themselves, that they become, become able to bring them further and to give them everywhere that they were meant to be. In other words, to extend them. Yeah, because yeah. you can't extend what you don't have. <clears throat> Exactly. So I am among the ministers of God. That is the foundation of this first part of the lesson. Yeah. And God is but love and therefore so am I. I'm nothing other than that. Yeah. So our ministry consists of being and extending this love that we are I would like to think of it as Johnny on the spot. You know, we're minute men for God, just like waiting for this impulse of what to do, where to go, what to say, and to whom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and knowing that that's always going to bring about fruit. It's going to bear fruit, healings or awakenings or joinings, holy instants. Yeah. And I think the fundamental key from a practical standpoint of this lesson, uh, it stands at the center of it, is uh, our desire to actually transcend self-interest. Because we can't be one among the ministers for God if we're still trying to seek personal gain apart from everyone else. When we still believe we're a privatised mind with particularly personal agendas that can clash with others' agendas, yeah. that ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Any valuing of the body for what we think it can bring yeah. to us instead of using it as the means to be about God's business. Communication device, right? To communicate the absolute guiltlessness of our brothers and sisters. Yes. That's what the body is for. I don't think it's for anything else, is it? No. Our brothers are under their own delusions, thinking that they're guilty and that they're sinful and that they, you know, the world's happening to them. And how else are they going to learn except that they read, they see and perceive us in a form that they can trust as we speak the, the word of truth to them, right? I mean, it's meaningful in that it's a, the way to communicate and to join with our brothers. That's all it's useful for. It doesn't have any value in itself. And it's how we use it. Right. So far, we've used it as, you know, the mode of attack. I'm different. I'm better. I'm worse than I'm I'm not one with you. I'm certainly not one in God. Here's my proof. Right. Yeah. That's the body as a separation device. That's right. And it's attack. We use it yep. for attack. No wonder it gets sick and dies. Yeah. So give it a break. OK. Give yourself. OK. Right? I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. So there was a second part to this lesson, sis. Oh, wow. You got me. Okay. Yes. No, oh. that was the second part. I got you. Are you kidding me? We've done both. Because you must. Oh, okay. It's only the ego that can be embarrassed, not me. No. <laughs> you mean that was, that was it? That's it. One I was so three. looking forward to more. I'll see you tomorrow, 173. Okay. Thank you, family. That was 172. In my defenselessness, my safety lies, and I am among the ministers of God, followed up by God is but love, and therefore, so am I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's it. That was Thank a very you. short lesson. Yeah. Well, I thought we did a pretty good job. You did a great job uncovering that second one. Thanks for bailing me out yeah <laughs> i remember now <laughs> hey listen we've got an announcement to make oh we do i think so but i can't remember what it was oh <laughs> what is it um acim text no we did that midway, midway q oh, the midway the midway yeah the midway question and answer webinar once we reach lesson 182 that's coming up right yeah it is it's coming up and it's where is it where can people register for it in the in the show more and description box there'll be a link for the midway q a session with nook and corrine so we're going to meet you guys face to face it'll be live it'll be recorded but we'll be live and we're inviting all of you to come bring your questions or sharings or laughs, whatever. We're just gonna spend a couple hours together in um, joining. We wanna yeah. thank you for the gift that you are to us and for this whole awakening process. So we thought that would be fun. Celebrate Midway Mark together. Cool, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this, we, we're gonna ask you to send your most important questions in prior to that. So Corrine and I can uh, go through them. So I can cover my ass and not look like a stunned fish when you ask me. <laughs> stunned oh. fish, I love I'll that. Be, I'll be totally prepared. <laughs> I've only seen you look like a stunned fish. I've only seen you look like that probably about 50 times in all the years. <laughs> There's nothing oh, worse. 
There's nothing worse when the ego just causes a complete white out in your mind and you're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what else do you do but cop to it? I don't know. I, I got nothing. Okay, you guys, we hope that you'll join us. We're looking forward to it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Thank you. Hey, bye, guys. Love you. Bye. bye.